gastric problem increasing day by day my daughter suffers from sandal arthritis are those correlated no ankylosing spondylitis per se will not cause gastric problems but when patients with ankylosing spondylitis are taking painkillers it can cause gastric problems vitiligo due to ra curable or not rheumatoid arthritis does not cause vitiligo at all i am a 29 year old male with plantar fasciitis treatment for that cure or control fantastic question he asked me a question to box me at my face there are a lot of people especially the fat obese people with flat feet when they get up in the morning the heel will be very very painful and they will not be able to walk the first few steps like if neil armstrong had this severe problem he would not be being able to set this first foot the first step on the moon at all this is called plantar fasciitis plantar fasciitis first we doctors will check whether they have a flat feet whether they are overweight whether there is excessive jogging and running and etc and very hard flows then after that you may take an x ray but taking an x ray it may show some bone growth but doesn't mean anything like that the treatment for plantar fasciitis reduce your body weight i avoid high impact exercises on the floor you can wear slippers what we call is very soft slippers are available microcellular rubber slippers we are available from sketches so many people have come out with very very soft slippers for cushioned slippers for 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 plantar fasciitis you can also have silicone insoles for plantar fasciitis and you'll have to go to the physiotherapist and learn exercises stretching exercises for the ankle is esr values important in ra patient for diagnosis esr is doesn't have much significance its elevation shows only its inflammation Best is to do the CRP. Biologics and vaccination go along very well. Don't stop the COVID vaccination just because it's in a biologic. The only thing is you have to be a little careful. Ask the rheumatologist consultation when you are taking rituximab. All the other biologics safely you can take the biologics safely you can take the COVID vaccine. The zero negative RA really exists. Zero negative rheumatoid arthritis does exist, doctor. I told you rheumatoid factor can be RA positive or RA negative, so there can be an RA negative rheumatoid arthritis also. Any latest research in the world for RA medicine for low if for least side effects? Lot of research is being done. I am now sixty-seven. Definitely, I cannot say the end of treatment for rheumatoid arthritis is available. If I go to Hell or Heaven, I can definitely see. the human civilization has brought out a miracle drug to cure rheumatoid arthritis a miracle vaccine to prevent rheumatoid arthritis those days are not far away my mother is wearing the vertigo she is taking struderon i'm sorry this is a condition connected with vertigo that is giddiness you have to see the ent doctor so i may not be able to help you about that is straight is treadmill walking exercise good for spondyloarthritis definitely as long as your knee is not affected you can do treadmill exercises there's no problem at all nothing to worry you can take it i am your consultations 2005 for zero negative arthritis what is your general advice i think in my consultation also i have given an advice But you still need it. I'll tell it here. No problem. It goes for others also. Zero negative rheumatoid arthropathy is a spondyloarthritis. Requires lifelong treatment, lifelong exercise, and periodic doctor review. I do not know, Saravanan, when you saw me last. If you have not seen me, if you feel I am good, you can come back to me. If you feel I am bad, please see another better rheumatologist. R A factor can affect tooth also. They say it can affect, but it can cause little caries in the tooth. before they said dental problem is a cause for rheumatoid arthritis and all the dentists had a roaring time pulling out everybody's teeth that's not the treatment now my mother 60 years are a patient she's taking igrutumod is safe sir yeah igrutumod is also safe no problem you can continue that with your rheumatologist how much walking helps somebody has asked a question how much walking helps Walking is an excellent exercise. Walking is actually exercise for the heart. It improves your muscle power. It improves your diabetes. It can bring down your cholesterol. 
it can bring down your weight and it improves your mood when you when you walk you know lot of hormones are secreted in the brain which make you give you a sense of wellness and happiness please walk for half for 45 minutes daily if you have knee pain you can walk till you develop the knee pain take rest and you can spit it for twice a day walking is a very very important exercise which all everybody should do it please do walk in the covid times do not give a lame excuse i cannot go and walk outside we can even with walk within a room or everybody has got a terrace you that's why i walk only in the terrace between 4 to 5 in the morning not in the evening so you can go there and walk in the morning please do walk but one important thing for walking you should buy a good pair of walking shoes that's very very important walking shoes you should buy when there is no joint pain but the muscles surrounding pain what could be the other causes one person has asked a very interesting question i do not have joint pain but i have muscle pain around the joint this is what is called a soft tissue rheumatism this is called soft tissue rheumatism invariably it is due to mental tension soft tissue rheumatism you have to see a rheumatologist and if he excludes the possible a very muscle disease then you have to get into yoga pranayam and a regular exercise program i have rh for 12 years i'm taking methotrexate for three weeks there is a patient with rheumatoid arthritis who has taken methotrexate for 15 years now for the last last the reason past is having multiple relapses of the arthritis what to do methotrexate will act in about 70% of patients similarly in 20% of patients after some time the response will go away what we call as methotrexate failure if that were to occur then what you need to do is to consult your rheumatologist and you have to change to some other medication that the rheumatologist will do it just because you are unresponsive to methotrexate it does not mean that there are no medications available we have wonderful oral medications and we have wonderful biologic drug available in the indian market today biosimilars which are quite economical and it is actually very cost friendly the cost benefit ratio of biosimilars is extremely good in india and you can go in for biologics it all depends upon your rheumatologist and your consultation with him sir could you please tell me vitamin b12 1500 or micrograms of paradox will help fill in gout somebody is ask me a question i have gout gouty arthritis will supplemental vitamin b12 and vitamin d help it is not going to help your gout but i like to tell you one important thing we have so much of sunlight in the world so much of sunlight in this country in india it is summer worst summer worst summer very few places have a bad winter we all have significant amount of vitamin d deficiency because we don't go out at all everybody with muscle pain joint pain etc should get a blood vitamin d3 done and if it is low you should take supplemental vitamin d as told by the doctor my mother suffering ra last 20 years taking prednisolone 20 mg per day very bad taking 20 mg of prednisolone for the last uh, 20 years is absolutely bad absolutely bad you have to go back to your rheumatologist and he has to assess what amount of steroids are producing in the body what are side effects have been done reduce the steroids and give them medications to cause steroid sparing disease modifying drugs my daughter taking steroid from january 21 for spondyloarthritis good or bad or health there is no indication for steroids in spondyloarthritis at all steroids are not given in spondyloarthritis it is given only for a very short period of time if somebody develops eye involvement what we call as uveitis do not take steroids for spondyloarthritis which is the best biologic based on your opinion somebody is asking me a very important question which is the best biologic based upon your experience it is like asking a question uh you see multiple women you know just before your marriage you go and see a woman b woman c woman three women and you say which is the best which is the best woman so they are asking what is the best wife in the world or which is the best husband in the world the best husband should be handsome should be humble his purse should always be full he should be very empathetic loving 
take the cell phone any time when you call. Okay, or you take the best wife in the world. The best wife in the world should be absolutely beautiful, full of culture, carries herself, never gets angry, always caring, no mood changes. You are not able to get one husband or one wife with one good quality. How can you get a wife or a woman with all qualities? There is nothing called a best biological in the world at all. Each biologic depends whether it suits the patient. So we prescribe a biologic depending upon the patient. And choosing the biologic is on scientific grounds, not on any other grounds of being emotionally attached to any biology. We are not attached to any biologics emotionally. We have nothing to do. Fortunately, we do not have any emotional relationship with any molecule. It's no emotional. It's absolute science. We started depend upon experience. We can't start it. We continue. If they respond, it's fine. If they don't respond, we change to another molecule of a biologic. There is no best biologic in the world. Asking for the best biologic in the world is asking for the best husband or the best woman, which is in fact a mirage in the desert. Difference between orthopedician and dermatologist. Very relevant question. At the end of the lecture, somebody is asking, what's the difference between an orthopedic surgeon and a rheumatologist? To be very frank, like the Buddha, Ramana Maharishi, I've been introspecting on this for a very long time. Invariably, people with joint pain go and see an orthopedic surgeon or they go and see a neurologist thinking it is nerve pain. It is a myth. An orthopedic surgeon deals with trauma, joint replacement, spine problems, etc., a rheumatologist is never a surgeon. In fact, to be very frank, I don't know even how to cut vegetables. Even cutting nails is dangerous for me. We deal with the medical aspect of the joint, what we call as arthritis. So rheumatologists take care of arthritis. Orthopedic surgeons take care of trauma, joint replacement, joint surgeries. They are more surgeons than physicians. And rheumatologists are more physicians than surgeons. That's a very important one. And there's a very important myth which all of us have to dispense with life that all rheumatological problems have their origin in the nervous system. The neurologist has nothing to do with the rheumatological problem at all. Though some diseases can involve the nervous system. But a rheumatologist is a person one has to see for a consultation if anybody has got joint problems. I'm not canvassing for myself or anything. But common sense based on scientific evidence will say that people with joint pain and joint swelling who have arthritis should consult only a rheumatologist. They can consult their own general practitioner or they can consult an MD physician also. And once they find that they require referral to a rheumatologist, they themselves will refer. Can you suggest the best RA doctor in India? <laughs> Silence is golden. I prefer to be silent. I'll never be able to give this answer. I am an RA patient, sir. Both legs TK are done, sir. I do regularly walking. I will continue. Excellent. Excellent, Sakti Rajeshwari. You have done a joint replacement. You are walking really regularly. Next time, you and I will participate in the Olympics. Sure. Are people with arthritis that date to this to develop other diseases? What should a patient or caregiver watch for? Excellent. Rheumatoid. Are people with arthritis... Because they do not walk much, they are, if there is a family history of diabetes, they can develop diabetes. If they develop strict steroids, they can develop diabetes. The arthritis per se also can cause target organ involvement, like SLE can cause kidney involvement, SLE can cause involvement of the heart, SLE can cause involvement of the lungs. Rheumatoid arthritis can involve the lungs, it can also involve the heart, it can also cause ulcers in the skin which do not respond to treatment. The other diseases is very, very important. People with rheumatological diseases, especially rheumatoid and systemic lupus, they can greater incidence of developing ischemic heart disease. So that morbidity you'll have to watch for. So what we rheumatologists do is when we see a patient with a rheumatological problem, we see the patient holistically. We just don't keep looking at the tunnel vision at just at the joint and say, oh, you got, you got only arthritis. I will not see your heart. I will not auscultate your lung. I will not take your blood pressure. Rheumatological diseases can affect multiple systems. That's very, very important. And a very, very good question given by a person as a caregiver, what I should give it. As a caregiver, what is very important, watch out for these problems. The other important point, be absolutely empathetic. The joy of living, 
is in sharing and sharing what empathy love unconditional love concern that's very very important what we call as tender loving care tender loving care is the best miracle drug available in the world 